We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Yeah, this is Everton Blender. And it's all about the young police from Jamaica. Seeing young police channel. Big up yourself. Everton Blender said that. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Blessed love, Rastafari. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video yeah so we have come to the end of um, part nine this is the last of a series you know um, exposing these corruptors these people who have conspired against jamaica um you know um, to destabilize jamaica f for their f um, financial and political gain so the case has unfolded exposes a shocking and unprecedented attempt to destabilize Jamaica for financial and political game. Masterminded by a group of individuals with deep ties to the diaspora, Wilfred Rattigan, a former FBI agent, Herb Nelson, a former member of the United States Army, Dr. Rupert Francis, a former member of the Jamaica Defense Force, Wayne Uglesom, a convicted coke dealer from England and a deportee who had received clean fingerprint record and live in Canada that paying in the tax deal and the others has conspired to tear down their country of birth using the fear of statics to sow discard and damage Jamaica's standing on the global stage. This plot which appears to have been hatched in the United States of America stands as a dark chapter in Jamaica's history one where educated individuals choose personal greed and political ambition over the well-being of their homeland. This conspiracy is a stark betrayal, not just to the Jamaican government, including Prime Minister Andrew Wallace, but of the Jamaican people themselves. These individuals, all of whom have, have achieved a high level of education and professional experience, should have used their knowledge to uplift, Jama uplift their country helping to improve Jamaica's global reputation. Instead, they have chosen to dismantle it from afar, conspiring to extort the Jamaican government and manipulate international perception of the island. It is, a f it is fitting, perhaps, that it was the universe, our divine intervention, that brought this plot to light. Herb Nelson's decision to come forward and reveal the inner workings of this criminal group to the Jamaica Young Police Channel was a turning point in exposing the truth. His confession laid bare the group's plan of extortion, manipulation and dishonesty, painting a picture of a network that operates with criminal intent. Their actions, fueled by financial gain and political leverage, are not just betrayal, they border on terrorism in their destructive thinking. This case is now a matter for both Jamaica and the international community, particularly the United States. Given that this plot was hatched on American soil, there is hope that federal authorities, including the FBI, will investigate and hold these conspirators accountable. These individuals are not only criminals but enemies of the Jamaican state seeking to undermine its sovereignty for their own gain. 
Jamaica deserves better. The people of Jamaica deserve leaders who will protect their interests, not betray them for personal benefit. It's time for these individuals to face the consequences of their actions and the diaspora. To remember that true patriotism means working to uplift your own land, not to tear it down. The exposure of this conspiracy serves as a warning. Jamaica will not tolerate traitors and those who conspire against it will be called out name and shame for their betrayal. All of these people are traitors to the Jamaican people and Jamaica on a whole. Rupert Francis, Wilfred Rettigan, Baby Trump, Peter Bunting, Herb Nelson, Huglisome, and all of these people, all of them are enemies of the Jamaican people and Jamaica on a whole. So, we're going to let you um, listen to the, the last part of this nine part series. We appreciate Mr. Nelson calling us at the Jamaica Young Police Channel to vent and make his conscience clear. Although he has what he and others have been conspiring against Jamaica in doing. Although his confession, it does not absolve him from his actions because they, should have, they shouldn't even venture down this road to betray his own country of birth. And this is sad. So you watch, you listen, and you listen. So, you, know, you never, it, hey, very rare. You, 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 as I say, you catch a man with them pants down, and him say, boy, him pants down. He might tell us, say, you, he might tell us, say, don't believe your eyes. Believe what him say. Yeah. That's yeah. a criminal don't, operator don't and everything. Believe, the, the saying goes, don't believe your lying eyes. Yeah, don't, yeah, I'll, yeah, can I lie your eyes? I tell that them thing there. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So that, that's a thing now with Vibes Cartel. So to him now, them see him as a hero because him beat the case. And then they said the system was against him. Even though the evidence you know, was there, you know. Them now want to believe that, you know. Them want to believe what they want to believe. You understand? Well, the, 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 the other thing is the lines are so blurred nowadays. Right? You see, on, on TV, in front of your eyes, them do a raid in St. Catherine. Mm -hmm. And put the brother to kneel down. And then you hear the weapon going off. Oh, you attack the oh, you attack the one, you attack the one. Where, where, where. And look, and even that was distorted because that that raid that raid that you saw, that um, when he kneeled down, that wasn't that day that he, he was that, that wasn't the day that he was killed. Oh, that wasn't it. No, I distort them. Distort. If you notice, you don't hear anything about it because at two a two separate video. The only thing what them do them continue with the video and the shot. But it wasn't a total different thing. So as a criminal operate, them you them know for use optics. You understand? But Jamaican people not buying it no more anymore, you know. Because we in a Jamaica, as Jamaicans, we know so the only people that the Jamaican people them different. Are criminals, them are different. There's nobody out there for the victims. You know see nobody go outside here and a different um the people them will get killed at a cherry tree lane and demonstrate for them. So everything that's everything that's come to the fore now. Technology you know, and time you know expose people, you know. You can't fool the people sometimes, but you can't fool them all the time. You understand? Boy, we just as we say, we just need a reset and we just need to cut out this political partisanship, stop promote promo, um, propaganda and like. But may I tell you still doing it? If you're a man for you used to work with the FBI, may I tell you say, hey. Ratigan, he can't tell me nothing I believe him and him thing, man. The man too, him wicked in a man. So, remember, you know, um, yeah, so we have come to the end of this conversation that we have with Mr. Um, Herbert Francis. And you know, his, um, his son, Junior, is involved in this thing too. And it's all politics. But they think that everybody's, you know, most, they think most, most Jamaicans are dummies, are idiots, are fools. You know, we are not idiots, are fools. That's why they don't like people like us. So they tell the, they, they tell the Jamaican people, um, the man who named Rupert Francis, Dr. Rupert Francis, he's a demonstration leader, head of the diaspora task force and crime in, intervention and prevention, an attorney, Wilford Rattigan, a former special agent with the FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, said their aim is to pressure the government to do more to better the lives of Jamaicans. So this is when I'm saying what we are seeking are better governance and better country and future for our children. 
we in the diaspora do not consider ourselves better than our people in the country. They said re theory theory An earlier call to the government to work with the diaspora so that together we can build a better country. All of them things I you know. I like them I tell you. Know. So as you hear what um if if you have been hey, that's why we're telling you over here, the, the goldfish them gone a long time. So if you have listening, you know, what this um what this man has tell have told told us, you know. The aim of um, Rotigan was to destabilize the Jamaican government for personal and political gain. So they might try, they, what they were try, what he's trying to do, chase, as we said that already in the opening, for chase with investors and all of these things, so that um, the country standing would diminish in the international community. But and, and what um so. He told us that, you know, that um, Dr. Um, Herbert Nelson's insight will bring a light to calculate the nature of Rattigan's actions by pushing a narrative of unrest. Rattigan's hope to weaken the current Jamaican administration and leave a vacuum of power that he and his political allies can exploit. It's a strategy as old as time. Destabilize, divide, then seize control. That was it. But this kind of manipulation has no place in Jamaica diaspora, and it's time for the people to see through the facade. So this is one dangerous man, you know. Yes, this man is one dangerous man. The man I use them them kind of metaja for destroy Jamaica and them claims that them love Jamaica. The man I'm telling us they're a traitor a long time. The man they are not patriots. We love Jamaica. We are Jamaican, born and growing at the ghetto. And we'd never do anything like that. This. So the revelation about Wilfred Rattigan static tactics show a disturbing agenda aim at destabilizing the Jamaican government and exploiting the diaspora for personal and political gain. These protests are not about genuine change or improving the lives of Jamaicans. They are carefully orchestrated campaign designed to weaken. Jamaican leadership manipulate its people and soul division. So it cause chaos. So as Herbert Nelson highlight, it's time for the Jamaican diaspora to see through this facade and reject the manipulation. Jamaica's future depends on unity, transparency and collaboration. Not the deceitful strategies of individuals who prioritize their own ambitions over the nation's well-being. The diaspora has a crucial role to play in the progress of Jamaica, but it must be led by individuals who act with integrity and seek to uplift Jamaica, not to tear it down. So now more than ever, Jamaicans at home and abroad must stand together to strengthen the nation, reject these forces of destabilization, and work toward a prosperous and unite, unified future. What a wicked and evil man. I know the brother, hey, may I tell you, say, me don't know so this man and I have nothing about him, you know. So this man I try to destabilize Jamaica. I not even have me not, me not have a dog in a race down there and thing, but me, me a Jamaican by birth. Me can't change that. Always, always you understand what I'm saying? You know, you where me live or you understand, me still a Jamaican. You know matter how wish pass put me traveling. Jamaica, that's how I'm born and raised. Can't take that from can't that you understand what I'm saying? So why the people them they, they, you, you're going to be you know you, so those of you who have been supporting these people now you realize that these people are traitors to Jamaica and the Jamaican people home and abroad. So have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica Young Police Channel out.